city sleeps, it dreams of us. I am here at Chateau La Fleur de Bois um, with Coralie de Bois, and I have some questions for her. And I wanted to ask you, what was the best advice someone gave you when you were young um, for your career? Uh, it's not a question of advice, it's mm -hmm. really a question of passion, mm -hmm. transmission of uh, passion. I really wanted to, to be a winemaker because I, I love the story my father was telling me and I love the time I spent with him in the cellar and I love the smell of the vinification and I wanted to follow him uh, even during the night when he was going to look after the tank and really so that go to was bed. <laughs> no, he, he, he really could do nothing against this okay. and he, he decided to put my bed in his office time to look after the vinification. So good. So really that, that was for me my career is going to be the winemaking. Mm -hmm. But uh, that was not really the decision of everyone and I was a woman and I was more uh, going to work in the, the uh, to be a, a, a translator and yeah. that was not what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I wanted to work in the wine industry. So the the decision came, okay, I can't be a winemaker, but I'm going to wine, to, to work in the wine industry. industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I decided to follow uh, the international trade studies. Yeah. And then uh, I tried everywhere in the world and I came back to go to the uh, MLG University in Bordeaux. Nice. <laughs> and follow this. Yeah. And I spent 10 years at Angelis before coming here. Mm -hmm to learn the way to grow a Premier Grand Cru Classé and then I said La Fleur de Bois can't stay alone. Mm -hmm. Now I know how to grow and to drive a winery like Angelus and I can do the same at La Fleur de Bois. Mm. So finally you actually realized your goal and yes. just by being persistent and... I'm yeah. very persistent. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I want. <laughs> well, that is, that is a great thing to have and very inspiring too. Mm -hmm. um, what if you could give on an advice or let's say if you had to talk with, um, you know, younger women in the wine industry, what would you want to tell them? Because obviously, it's a boys club, um, especially, well, things are changing, time is changing, but it has been a boys club for a very long time. Yes. Yeah. And it's getting easier, but what would you say to women, um, yeah, an advice? Um, as you say, it, it's changing. More and more women are arriving in the wine industry, mm -hmm. uh, but you have to know what you want and to do what you want. and. Mm -hmm to be very persuasive because there is space for everyone mm -hmm. and uh, specifically for women now in the wine industry mm -hmm. because uh, I think the finesse and the elegance you are able to give and uh, the sweetness and accessibility you can give to the wine is, uh, is really something uh, very important today mm -hmm. because the wine is too much considered as something inaccessible. Yeah. And the wine can be accessible. The wine is supposed to be a, uh, a place for exchanging. You know, when I'm traveling, and I travel a lot, uh, when I'm arriving uh, around the table and I know nobody, mm -hmm. the wine is so intense that if you like wine, you must like food. And if you like both of these, you always can find a, s a solution to talk with your neighbor. And yes. At the end of the evening, it's like, I've known this person since ever. Yeah, it breaks the ice. And it, yes, yeah. it's really breaking the ice. And hopefully it's like this, because when you're traveling for a month or a month and a half and you're spending all your time with people that you don't know. Yeah, like, give me some very Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Well, that's, thank you. That is very helpful. Yeah. And um, our last question um, would be, if wait, what was my last question? Oh yeah, what is your dream here at uh, La Fleur de Bois? What would you like to realize um, here? Today at La Fleur de Bois, uh, my dream is to continue to be the locomotive of the appellation and to show people that even if we are on 
what can people call a peripheral appellation? It's not a peripheral appellation. You have a good terroir here, and we are able to show that this wine is a petite. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's nicely said. <laughs> and when you have a terroir, you can make exceptional wines. And today, I'm very proud of La Fleur de Bois because we can find it in France, in Europe, in Asia, in the US, everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. And even even the new generation can access to La Fleur de Bois and enjoy a, a great wine. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, perfect. I cannot wait to taste it. Thank you so much, Philippe. <laughs> Cheers. You're welcome. Because <laughs> everywhere we've been, we have been leaving traces. They won't.